for anaerobic respiration, however, right, we're gonna be look at looking at the fact that there's not there's no oxygen. Alright? The reason why anaerobic respiration will take place when there's no oxygen is because oxygen is the final electron ac acceptor. If oxygen is not present, this will not take place. What happens when oxygen is not present and aerobic respiration tries to take place? Anybody? What do you think will happen? Just a thought process, a thinking question. What do you think will happen? Anyone? Any thoughts on what you think would happen? If we have the electron transport chain continuing to occur, but there is no oxygen present, what do you think will happen? Oxidative phosphorylation will stop, right? Why does it stop? Because if oxidative phosphorylation continues when there is no oxygen, we're going to have the release of electrons into the cells, right? So the electrons will have no final resting place, no final oxygen molecule to bind to. So when electrons go off like that now, we're going to have the creation of free radicals within the systems. When we have free radicals now, free radicals are reactive species that will actually bind to different proteins and start to destroy cellular machinery. And then we have something that we call death, right? Via suffocation, right? So we have stuff like that, right? So we have all of these things that will happen, right? Um, that's one of the core uses of cyanide as well as a poison. It's very, very dangerous, right? What it will do is bind to complex four in the electron transport chain and stop the addition of the electrons to um, oxygen. It will stop the function of complex four and then we have the release of all sorts of different radicals. Uh, electrons will continue to destroy different types of cellular machinery, um, destroy DNA and stuff like that. And we're going to damage the cells permanently and it will lead to death, right? So we have those type of stuff occurring, right? The same way in which if you have been suffocated for a while, it leads to brain damage and stuff like that because cells will start to die, right? Without oxygen as the final electron acceptor, all right? So what happens when there's no oxygen? Let's look at lactic acid fermentation. Fermentation is a method used by animals and some bacteria like those in yogurt, right? So we're gonna look at that. So the fermentation used by them is lactic acid fermentation. So this occurs routinely by mammal and uh, mammalian blood cells, right? And skeletal muscle that has insufficient oxygen supply to allow aerobic respiration to continue, all right? So the, in muscles, lactic acid production by fermentation must be removed by the blood circulation and brought to the liver for further metabolism, right? So the chemical reaction of lactic acid fermentation is showing here, pyruvic acid, Plus NADH is now used to produce lactic acid, right, and NAD. So let's look at lactic acid fermentation here. So we have glucose go through glycolysis. We have two pyruvate, all right? We'll figure out now there is no oxygen. We cannot continue the link reaction. We cannot continue with anything else. So what we do, our cells will continue through lactic acid fermentation, right? So remember in glycolysis, we consumed NADH. Now, we're going to be consuming another round of NADH within fermentation to produce two lactate, right? Or what we call lactic acid, right? And it produces the two NADs, which, are, which, are, which continue in the entire cycle. Yeah. So it's an entire cycle as well. It's a cyclic rotation using lactic acid, um, lactate dehydrogenase in order to really produce this. So the enzyme that catalyzes this reaction is lactate, lactate dehydrogenase, right? So it proceeds in either direction, but left to right reaction uh, um, is inhibited by acidic conditions, right? So in this case, it's the top to bottom, right? That will be inhibited by acidic conditions, right? So lactic acid buildup causes the muscle stiffness and fatigue. And once lact lactic acid has been removed, the muscles um, move from the muscles and is circulated to the liver. It can be converted back to pyruvic acid and further cat catabolized right, for energy. So in the case that there's a lack of oxygen, we're going to have this, right? For alcohol fermentation now, we're going to have pyruvic acid to produce carbon dioxide and acetaldehyde. And then the acetaldehyde now will now go through some amount of reactions, right? In using NADH to actually produce ethanol, right? So the production of ethanol there within are alcoholic fermentation, right? 
So the creation of ethanol there is very important, especially for yeast, right? As they can be used for the creation of different things, right? Usually, notably using alcoholic beverages, etc. Right? So they can use the ethanol from these organisms to actually um, drive certain industries. Okay? The carbon dioxide gas is also important, especially when we're talking about baking and it using as a natural rising agent, etc. Right? We can also use the carbon dioxide right, to fuel into different types of industrial processes. Right? I want you guys to look at how the ethanol produced from yeast can be used for things other than alcoholic beverages because in case, right, I'm not saying it applies to everybody, it certainly doesn't apply to everybody, but in the case where they are, if they ask for something other than alcoholic beverages right, and baking, a lot of persons minds would go blank so it's important to look at that because that's one of the things that um, my teacher told me all right most definitely look for other uses than just that all right we can also look at the biofuel industry and stuff like that chemistry unit two students would have looked at the use of biofuels right and how we can use different types of alcohols in order to produce different esters through transesterification we can use yeast to produce fuel so think about those type of things as well all right so everything here should be fine so lactic acid fermentation is something you've seen before alcoholic fermentation is something we've seen before as well all right and that is really the end of this review for respiration